YouTube, what's up, man? It's your boy, the Home Chef DB, coming at y'all with another video. It's a Labor Day weekend here, and if you like me, you can't get outside to that grill and you're still looking for a barbecue solution, look no further, man, because I got you. Simple two cooking step barbecue rig. Aside from the preparation, it can't get any easier than that, man. So keep it locked, it's about to go down. two all right man so basically your boys got two racks of baby back ribs here um, I've got them thawed out cleaned up what you're gonna see me do now is remove the back membrane on the back of the rib what this is gonna allow is for that seasoning and that rub to penetrate the back of the rib now this can be tricky at times if you can see here in the beginning I did struggle to get it going but once you get it going carefully just gonna slowly be able to peel more and more back and then if you're lucky you can get it in one nice pull just like that now here in the front I did notice a little silver skin so ribs are full of collagen or connective tissues um, so sometimes I just like to go through and clean up anything that looks like it's OD and that looked very silver to me so I just wanted to go ahead and remove it all right now it's time to make our binder now typically people use mustard very common binder for making ribs um, doesn't introduce a lot of flavor however the way I want to do these because we are baking them is I want to try to incorporate a little flavor in our binder so I'm gonna use a little liquid smoke and uh, whisk that in with a little Worcester sauce hopefully that gives us a nice smoky undertone So basically, I've got my uh, silicone brush here, and I'm just going to put a very thin layer evenly across the, the back side of these ribs. I'm starting with the bone side first because I want to finish with the meat side up. Now that I've got that binding liquid evenly coated on the back side of the ribs, I'm going to begin seasoning them. Now, I've elected to use uh, my favorite rib rub from uh, the Killer Hogs line. If you have not tried their product, it is phenomenal. Um, by all means, you can make your own rub using brown sugar, paprika, things of that nature, or you know whatever your favorite rub is. But definitely give these guys a try if you're big in the barbecue scene. So now that I've got the backside done, I'm just going to repeat the process again on the front, and then season them. And then we'll move on to the wrapping stage. Now that I've got my ribs all seasoned up, I am ready to wrap. Um, I've elected to use aluminum foil here. You can also use butcher paper. Um, this method of wrapping the ribs is actually common on the grill and the oven. This is known as the Texas crutch. So um, essentially by wrapping the ribs, you are steaming them. So you'll actually see me add some apple juice here. Um, this liquid will be generating the steam that I need to actually tenderize these ribs. I'll also place a little butter in there just for some flavor, wrap them up loosely, and uh, they'll be ready to get in the oven. That's it, man. You couldn't get any easier prep than that, man. We cleaned the ribs up, seasoned them, we wrapped them. And now I got my oven preset to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly 150 degrees Celsius. We're gonna go low and slow. Now my ribs are on the smaller side, uh, so I'm gonna go about two hours. 
can check on them. If you have some thick ribs, you can go anywhere from up to two and a half to three hours. So let's get these bad boys in. Two hours later, see what we're working with. What you will find is that the ribs have become extremely tender, so I recommend that you handle these with care. They will fall apart on you. Um, these ribs are ready for the basting process, so you can use any barbecue sauce you like. I will be using my Hennessy Glaze. Now, um, I used this in my last video. The recipe for that is in the description box of that. I will also place it in this description box as well. If you are curious on how to make it, I'm basically going to baste the back side of these ribs first. Um, and then they'll be ready to go in the oven. At this point, I've got the back of the ribs basted in my Hennessy barbecue sauce. I'm going to broil them just for a few minutes, let that tack up. Then I'm gonna flip them over and start doing the other side. You don't want to leave during this process because you're gonna mess around and burn them. This, uh, the sauce has a lot of sugars in it and it burns very easily. So I'm gonna layer it, I'm gonna keep an eye on it until it gets to the dunce that I like it. Just five minutes in, you cannot leave these, man. You have to watch them because they'll burn up. That two hours will be for nothing. Take a look at how this rib just come right up off the rack like that. Ah, mm. Man, I had a really difficult time finishing this video, plating this up, because as you can see, I was just snacking my brains out, man. I probably ate about half a rack before I even got any ribs on the plate. Man, you guys need to try this recipe. will 
say before attempting to actually cut this, you do want to let this rack rest, man, because they are so tender. As you can see, I jacked up the first bone on there. It didn't really wait long enough. They're still not cool enough, but I'm at this point just ravenously hungry. And I want to get done with the video, so I hack these things up and I get them on the plate. That's it, man. That's the video, man. Henny glazed oven baked barbecue ribs. Um, if you made it to this point in the video, you the real MVP. And I want to say thank you for supporting your boy. Also, I am going to be doing a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. Um, anybody following my IG at DB4KTV, unbeknownst to yourself for your support, you have automatically been enrolled in this giveaway. All you need to do now is to share this video on any social media platform and tag me in it. The first person that I get a notification from will be receiving a $50 Amazon gift card from me to you just to say thank you. And as always, even in the most humblest of kitchens, you can still keep it tasty. I'm out. Thank you.